In this video, we'll examine an alternative to using algebra when tackling questions that have answer choices that are variables. In this method, we're going to assign each variable some value. Now, when assigning values, it's a good idea to use a different value for each variable, to use nice numbers that allow you to perform easy calculations, and in many cases, it's a good idea to avoid using ones and zeros. So for our question, let's say that Kevin can ride his bike at a speed of 3 yards per 30 minutes, and we want to know how many yards he can travel in 2 hours. Once we've assigned values to the variables, we need to determine the answer to the question we have now created. If Kevin travels 3 yards in 30 minutes, then in 60 minutes, i.e. 1 hour, he can travel 6 yards. And if he can travel 6 yards in 60 minutes, we know that he can travel 12 yards in 120 minutes. So the answer to the question we've created is 12 yards. In other words, when we let x equal 3, m equal 30, and h equal 2, then the answer to our question is 12. So we now need to check each answer choice and see which one yields to be 12 yards when we plug in our values for x, m, and h. Let's begin with answer choice A. When we plug in our values here, we get 4 thirds. This suggests that Kevin will travel 4 thirds yards when x equals 3, m equals 30, and h equals 2. However, we already know that he should travel 12 yards given these values. So A cannot be the correct answer. We will then plug our values for x, m, and h into the remaining answer choices. When we do so, we find that B and C do not evaluate to be 12, so we can eliminate them. Finally, when we get to answer choice D and plug in our chosen values for X, M, and H, we see that this expression does indeed evaluate to be 12 yards. Now before we select D, we must first rule out answer choice E since we may have chosen numbers that yield 12 for more than one answer choice in which case we would need to go back and select new values for x, m, and h. However, when we plug in our values into answer choice E, we find that this expression does not evaluate to be 12 yards, which means that the correct answer must be D.